Hi, I'm David. We are software developers from Ozaki. We are really excited to present this new tutorial series. We bring a lot of fun with this. We would like to introduce how to build a camera solution in c -sharp by using the Ozaki Camera SDK. This SDK is user-friendly, easy to use, powerful, and with compliant, and here is the key. It provides awesome background support for implementing many camera solutions. In this tutorial series, we are going to show how you can develop easily a camera and the software in c -sharp by using the Ozaki Camera SDK. With this SDK, you can develop many grid camera applications. You can work with an only standard DP camera, or an RTSP camera, or just a simple USB web camera. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced c -sharp developer, you will certainly be able to implement the solution presented in this tutorial videos if you use this camera SDK. This is gonna be a great video series. They contain short and practical code explanations. Let's see what you need to run these tutorials and work with the camera SDK. Visual Studio, .NET Framework and some kind of cameras. In the following 10 chapters, we will write c .NET codes which implement functionalities such as displaying the image of the camera to the smartphone, device discovery, motion detection, creating SIP video call, taking snapshot and recording a video, streaming the image of the camera to the website, and PTZ control. But first, here is a brief overview about the ONWIF standardization from David. What is ONWIF? First of all, let's clarify what does it mean if a camera supports the ONWIF standard and why it is so important for us. As it can be seen in the presentation, the ONWIF is an abbreviation for the Open Network Video Interface Forum, which was created in 2008. This is a global and open industry organization where the members use these global open standards for the interface of physical IP-based products like an IP camera. The founding members are the Axis, the Bosch and the Sony, but such companies like Canon, Cisco, LG, Samsung and so on also participate in. The standardization covers the areas below. IP configuration, device discovery, device management, media configuration, real-time viewing, alarm handling, PTZ control, video analytics and security. The next question is, what are the benefits of the ONWIF? Interoperability, that the standard ensures that there are interoperable products from various manufacturers. Flexibility, the end users and integrators can create a system with different products of the manufacturers. Presently more than 2500 products are compatible with ONWIF standards. Future proof, different companies' products can communicate with each other, therefore it doesn't matter what happens to individual companies. Quality. When a product conforms to a standard, the users know what to expect from that product. The next question, which can be confusing for some people is, what is the difference between the USB web camera, RTSP camera and the OnWIF IP camera? We differentiate them in three aspects. Connection type, USB versus UTP, number of streams and number of functionalities. Let's start with the USB web camera. We can connect to the USB camera with a USB cable and it has only one stream. The number of the functions are limited, but it can display the image and if it's supported, it can send audio. The RTSP connect to the network with the UTP cable and it also has just one stream. Its functions are the same like the USB web camera. Finally, the ONWIF standard IP camera. Its connection is similar to the RTSP, so it connects with a UTP cable to the network. It has more than one streams. The number of the functions are more, like it can PTZ, so move the camera and set the image lighting, like contrast, brightness, and set the frame rate. If you like this video and you want to learn more about further these solutions provided by Ozaki Camera SDK, then download the trial version from our website www.camera-sdk.com. For more information, check out our website or send us an email to info at camera-sdk.com. In the next video, Peter will show how you can find your camera on the local network using c .net. It's gonna be exciting. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next chapter. See you.